What's going on, man? It's the 4th of July weekend, and the world is going to stop. This is something that if you are a hustling, thriving, you got things going on, entrepreneur, it's annoying as hell. Because essentially, what has happened is it started early. I have some cars that are being serviced and we're waiting on parts. So these parts are not coming until after the 4th of July. They're coming like next week. So one of the things that I find to be very perplexing is there are people who need to work, who need to make money, but they're going to take the 4th of July weekend off. And it's not like these people have been working 60, 70, 80 hour weeks. They've been chilling, but they're still going to take the weekend off. They're going to go to the beach. You're going to go to the barbecues. And one of the things that I am beginning to understand is behavior. One of the things that's going to keep people in the same social economic class is their behavior. Give you an example. Let's say you're behind on your bills and you have the option to drive for Uber this holiday weekend, but you choose not to. You're like, it's the 4th of July. I'm going to hang out with my friends. I'm going to hang out with family. I'm going to go to the barbecue. I'm going to watch the fireworks show. That right there is a symbol of what your economic future is going to look like. Um, one of the things that I see all of the time is that people want to chill and relax and take a break, whether they actually, like if you've been working 60, 80 hour weeks and it's a holiday weekend and you're like, I'm going to take some time off. I, I salute that. Congratulations. I appreciate that. But if you haven't been working, if you're behind, if you're struggling, yes, yeah, the 4th of July, but do you really need to take time off? And that behavior, once again, I'm not talking to all the people who are hard charging, who've been crushing it, who've been putting in the hours, and they're going to take the weekend off. You have earned the weekend off. But here's the thing. And I consistently see it across social media. Right now, people are quitting their jobs because they can't get what they want. So they're going to quit their job and go to another company that will perhaps give them what they want. Right now, people want autonomy. They want the ability to pick and choose their schedule. They want the ability to work from home but they also want massive perks. And if you work in tech, you can get all that. You can get all that in a bag of chips, but most jobs are not tech. Like one of the things that I see, cause like, I am not even gonna try to fight it. Like I got two cars being serviced. I'm not even calling them. I already know it's gonna be next week. I got some other stuff I'm working on. I already know it's going to be next week. There is no point in even trying to push these people or to go ahead and uh, there, there's no point like this. This holiday force is so strong. It is so massive. It is so overwhelming that there's no point in trying to fight it because it's like it's the holiday. Damn it. I'm going to be off. I'm going to enjoy myself. I'm going to drink some beer. And once again, is your behavior wealth development behavior or poverty enhancement behavior? Like this weekend, I'm not going to like uh, I got someone picking up a car. And that's another thing. If you get in the rental car business, one of the things you will notice is that people love to rent cars on the weekends, the weekends. I got someone 
you know, he, he emailed and I, I just went ahead and did it because he's picking it up at 10 o'clock tomorrow. And also, because it's raining, I'm probably not going to be able to get the car washed today, which is another little, little thing. Because uh, essentially here on rainy days, the car wash is closed. They're not open. So it's going, it's going to be real interesting on that rental. But one of the things I want you guys to understand is holidays are for closers. And what do I mean by that? If you remember this movie where the dude was like coffees for closers, if you're not done the things before the holiday, before the holiday, if you haven't worked, you haven't done what you need to do, um, one of the things that you have got to understand is your behavior is going to be a strong indicator of your future. So if you're one of those people who are behind, who are not going to work, who's going to take off, you're behind on your bills, you've got all kinds of stuff going on. Um, it is what it is you are who you are and one of the things that i'm looking at because uh, i was going to launch the corporate papers nope it's holiday weekend makes no sense makes no sense i'll launch that next week it makes no sense because people are off people are and some people have been off since monday <laughs> the fourth of july is sunday but some people have been off since monday and once again, this um, holiday weekend, holiday weeks, it is such a massive force that you cannot even, I'm like, I remember when I was in the storage auction day business, I used to get pissed off the holidays because, well, it, it depended upon the holiday. Like uh, there were certain holidays that were good for business. There were certain holidays I wanted to get out, do what I need to do, hustle, buy units, holiday, couldn't do it. And once again, a lot of people have a holiday mindset, whether I have earned the right to be off, doesn't matter, doesn't matter. It's a holiday, I'm gonna be off, I'm gonna be off. And once again, I have learned over the years to just grit my teeth and ride it out like i got like i said i got some stuff that's going on right now there i want to launch the corporate papers i got cars that need to be fixed I just might as well wait until after the holiday because essentially one of the things that happens for hard charging entrepreneurs and once you get into this holiday thing is like <clears throat> i got someone that's supposed to be fixing a car they're going to sell me. I got someone else that's fixing another car they, they want to sell me. And he actually, he said they will be there on the 4th of July. They'll be there Monday, so we will see. But essentially, you got to work really, really hard in the non-holiday environment. Because once the holidays come, like packages are going to be delayed. People are not going to come to work. Folks are going to call in everything gets delayed 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 like i got some stuff i gotta send out i got some stuff i need to work on and i'm just like just take a chill pill and relax and take a deep breath and embrace the holiday because essentially I, I, no, I guess I've gotten a little bit more patient because, you know, I used to get pissed off when everything was shut down, everything was slow down. It used to just piss me off. And now I'm just like, it is what it is. It is what it is. It's, it's not going to change. People are people. And one of the things that, you know, like... Um, I was going to, I sold the Porsche. I, I haven't gotten around to doing that video yet. I will do that video. I was going to go buy a new car, but it's Friday. 
which means that the things I need to done because I've got my GPS kill switches in there on the counter and I was gonna put you know I can buy the car today but I cannot get a GPS kill switch until at the earliest Tuesday and also I need to have the car so I'm just hoping that this car will be available next week because it, it just it will just be sitting and I'm just sitting there like you know what maybe if some better will come along maybe it'll be there we will see because it's a it's a holiday weekend i don't even know how car sales are on the holiday weekend but th this is this is kind of stuff i'm talking about you want to do something but you cannot because the, you know essentially this is why i love internet businesses because internet businesses rely on you and essentially you know unless you're hiring certain people once again they could get into a little bit with this holiday thing but essentially uh, there's a car that I could buy today but because I cannot get the GPS stuff installed until next week what's the point because I buy the car today and I list the car on the platform someone's gonna want to rent it and I'm just sitting there like take a deep breath you know it's the 4th of July we're not gonna have any more holidays for August September it's going to be about two and a half more months because essentially we have these major holidays where everything just shuts down slows up or stops the world just stops and this is what's wild because you know we're fortunate to be in the united states of america i was doing some research this weekend and COVID is going crazy in other countries i'm talking about the infection rate, the death rate is what it was at the peak here in the United States. That's what's going on around the world. So a lot of people are really, really suffering and we are fortunate and blessed to be in the United States of America because you could go in, get your vaccination free. And once again, the studies are out. The places with the highest vaccination rates have the lowest incidence of COVID. The places with the lowest vaccination rates have the highest incidence of COVID. And it's real interesting. But once again, it's a holiday, man. You know, and um, for entrepreneurs who, who got things to do, who want to work, who want to go do their thing, it can be hellified annoying. Because literally, and this is the thing, the world is going to stop because of the holiday, right? And then it's going to take its time to get crunk back up because, um, like I said, I really wanted to go get this car today, um, but it would be sitting Saturday, it'd be sitting Sunday, Monday, possibly Tuesday. So it'll just be sitting. And one of the things I've learned about the car rental business is your goal is to get a car and get it on the platform and get it rented as fast as possible. So by the virtue of it being a holiday weekend, I cannot really activate that. I really can't because uh, one of the things that I decided to do with the car rental business is the new intake process, uh, the new way that I examine cars, like little stuff that you would never even think of like you got to examine to make sure that the, you know i got someone that will take the car by and it's like was this car wrecked and i got to pull a car fax i got i got a whole bunch of things i got to do on these cars i got to check all the locks i got to check to make sure that the little outlets in there work because that's a big thing for people doing uber and doordash they, they plug their phone into the charger because a lot of folks don't charge their phone at home and it's so many little things that are now part of my intake process and then go out get the gps kill switch system put in uh because that's one of the reasons that i stopped buying cars and right now i'm i want to replace the porsche but if i do that it's just going to be sitting it's just going to be sitting waiting for the world to reopen waiting for people to get back to business because next week even though the holiday will be over there still will be delays because people will still be off. People will, like, this This happened. Uh, I was trying to develop a relationship with this tow truck driver. I mean, he was on the spot, the price was right, 
and I needed him on another toe and he was unavailable. Maybe he had some personal business, something to do. I don't know. I don't know. He, he, he just wasn't available. And this is one of the frustrating things about starting a business is when you have to depend upon a multitude of people. And essentially, once again, everybody is trying to chill right now. Like, like I said, it's a holiday weekend. It's frustrating. It's annoying because like, I'm like, all right, I got the switches. I can get the car today, but I cannot get that kill switch installed no earlier than Tuesday, perhaps Wednesday, because uh, the people I'm talking to it's Friday. It's holiday Friday. A lot of people are off today. So I may be, it might be Wednesday or Thursday before I can get that switch installed. And then uh, I'm, I'm planning on getting two cars to replace the Porsche. Um, and I'm just sitting here waiting, just waiting for people to come back to work. That's what I'm waiting on. I'm waiting on people to come back to work. It's the holiday. You, you cannot fight this. And essentially, this is what's funny. The real hustlers will be working this weekend. Millionaires will be working this weekend. Let me say that again. Millionaires will be working this weekend. The Manny Korsbans, um, the Grant Cardones, they will be working this weekend. But Ed and Edna, who are behind on their rent, they're going to take a break. They gonna take a break. It's a holiday weekend. They're gonna go to the barbecue and they're gonna forget about their troubles and forget about their worries. And then Tuesday, when the reality sets back in, then they will start stressing again. But millionaires will be working this weekend. And once again, are you exhibiting millionaire behavior or are you exhibiting normal person behavior? Because normal person behavior, hey, I'm off. It's holiday. I'm off. I'm going to the beach. I'm going to go river. I'm going to go rafting. I'm going to take a break. I'm going to take a break. You know, it, it, it's, it's really interesting because I have a multitude of friends. And before I did this video, I just, hey, are you working this week? Yeah. A lot of my friends who are millionaires are working this weekend. They got stuff to do. But the vast unwashed masses will not be working this weekend whether they need to or not it is wild man it is wild and one of the things that um i begin to hate fridays and not hate fridays from um a standpoint that you know it's like when you have stuff to do the world starts shutting down early on friday early on Friday. So essentially these are first world problems. Like, you know, if you're a regular person with a regular job, you did your 40 hours, you're going to take the weekend off. You're like, and eh, what is he talking about? I did my work. You know, my bills are paid. I'm good. I'm taking the weekend off. I know. I mean, it's just, this is more of a vent because like I said, I got to wait until next week to get back to doing what I was doing because now I am dependent upon other people and I got to wait till these other people come back to work because like I said there it ain't happening on the weekend it ain't happening on the weekend it's just not happening on this holiday weekend and it, it's interesting because if you're an uber driver or you're doing DoorDash or whatever this is going to be a really lucrative weekend because a lot of people will be home. They'll be chilling. And they will use your services. But a lot of people like, eh. I remember the six weeks I did Uber. I did not drive on Halloween. One, I didn't, I didn't need the money. That was one reason. And two, I did not want to go through the foolishness of Halloween. I didn't want glitter and stuff in my back seats. But if I was poor if i was struggling i would be working this weekend 
I would be working this weekend, hands up down. That would be like, I, I got to work this weekend. You know, I might catch a barbecue after work, after I put some hours in, I might catch one. But I would not just like sit back and chill and do nothing. And, you know, you're going to see this weekend who's exhibiting the real millionaire behavior. You're going to see this weekend who's going to be wealthy in the future. And it's not going to be the average person. The average person is going to exhibit this behavior decade after decade after decade. They're going to keep doing the same stuff. And then one day they're going to get old and it's going to be a big struggle. I've seen a lot of people move to Mexico because it's cheaper. And I don't want to move to Mexico. Maybe that would be a grand adventure. I don't know. It could be. I'm not sure. Um, it could be magnificent. I don't know. But I plan on retiring here in America. That's just me. Um, but one of the things that you guys have got to understand. Opportunity is like ice cream. It has an expiration date opportunity is going to melt like right now housing prices are through the roof and car prices or through used car prices are through the roof and this is a window of opportunity for those who are who positioned to take advantage of it but it ain't gonna last forever just like this uh guy who bought dodge coin and he got it was, he was like he was worth two million for a hot minute now he's down to I think seven hundred thousand. He's still up, but he's not up. Like if he had sold when it was at two million, if he had sold to me, he would have had a million dollars in the bank that he could have did something else with. But once again, holding on, diamond hands, holding on for dear life, it's become a, like a cult. It's become a religious fanatic religious fanaticals over this cryptocurrency but once again opportunity it's like ice cream and it has an expiration date it's going to expire and it is going to um, disappear before you know it but if you want to be rich now this is like if you've been working the whole week and been doing what you need to do I'm not talking to you but if you're a person that expires to be rich, you will be working this weekend. You'll be working on your plans, your business plan. You'll be doing something versus just chilling. You might catch that barbecue. You might catch that barbecue. But other than that, you're going to be gainfully occupied and employed. And one of the things that um, people don't understand is and as i'm beginning to realize this myself life is short life is way shorter because i'm like you know 30 years ago i was 24 years old 30 years ago that 30 years went like that and this is why i'm like you know opportunities are not going to be waiting for you to take advantage of them like I am so glad that I started my business um, career when I did wish I had started it 10 years earlier I would be much further ahead if I did not did that well I don't know that's not true because uh, I did try to do that it just didn't work out but I'm glad I started when I started because man the future is going to be for those who are taking action once again like i said most of america is kicking off uh, i haven't been on the road i don't know what the traffic's like but these folks are breaking i hear that people are going to hawaii like they haven't gone to hawaii in years i hear it's record-breaking tourism planes are packed people are on the move which is good in, for some people it's good for the rental car companies it's good for the airlines it's good for them um but once again i'm just ranting just a rant because 
I'm frustrated because I got stuff I want to get done, but I know because it's a holiday weekend. It ain't happening. It ain't happening. It just ain't happening. And it's infuriating. So one of the things that I'm going to do is like, once the holiday is over, is go hard as I can on some of the things I want to do. Because once a holiday enters the picture, it's a wrap, man. It's a wrap. So next week, I'll be introducing corporate papers. I'm not even doing it this weekend. Not, no, no. Because people are on vacation. People are chilling. People, I'll, I'll do that next week, next week. And then uh, I'm getting ready to introduce a credit program, which I want to get started. But once it's a holiday weekend, man. Holiday weekend. So I'm not even starting that. that. This all will start next week. So that's all I got for you guys today. I will see you in the next one. And I'm in the doorway because it's it was raining. Now it's not raining. But, you know, can't get the camera gear wet, man. Can't get it wet. So I'll see you guys in the next one.